Who's ready for part two? Stay tuned. All right, so here's the antenna. You want to get a perspective. Um, currently, I have this piece of shit Verizon antenna that Wilson sent me. Um, the frequency range is in the lower frequencies. So it doesn't really get crap. The bracket is gone. <laughs> my, I let my neighbor borrow it and he popped it off. And it was rivets. So it's just up there with a freaking um, zip tie. So that's coming down. That, that one's coming down. That's the one on the booster. This one and this one are both on the, uh, the MoFi. What I'm going to do is take this log periodic and put it here in place of this. Throw this thing in the trash. Um, then this is going to replace the log periodic. So I just noticed something interesting about this uh, antenna just now. It has things that other antennas don't. Right? Look at this. It has this to adjust the angle, so to speak. So that could make a difference instead of just straight like they all are. And another thing I noticed is this. So you can even slightly probably angle it up. So. <clears throat> have to tweak it a little bit. I'm not trying to spend all fucking day on the roof on a Saturday. However, we are on quarantine. What the hell else do I have to do other than exercise? So, stay freaking tuned. We'll get this bitch up and we'll see what happens. That's it. The final adjustments have been made. Look at where I'm pointing. I'm going over there now. I was here for the longest. I'm band four, but I discovered something that I should have known a long time ago or should have tinkered with. There's my log periodic back on the booster. Let me tell you something funny about the log periodic, guys. I was getting full bars on my booster, 50 megabits plus down. I think I almost had 59 at one point. I'm like, what the hell? And here's the shitty thing about boosters, guys. They band hop, so you can't just stay on one band. It'll go from full bars to like two bars. Um, it'll go from band 66 to band 5 to band fucking 4, 13, whatever. But that's cool. That that's stable enough for voice, even for an LTE data backup um, is what I'll use. Normally, you get the standard little shark fin Yagis that come with them. Upgrade to a log periodic or this beast. You can see the size difference. It's definitely longer. It's probably hard to tell from this angle. Okay. We're pointing all in the same direction. And I'm getting horrible signal quality, guys. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because my decibels are like negative 89 to negative 90 versus normally here I'm at negative 103. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Let me get the hell off this ladder before I kill myself. Can I open the pool yet? All right. All right. So... Band 13, like I told you guys in the past, has the highest decibels out here. It is total shit. It is a high traffic Verizon band. Here I go again with my damn finger. Okay. So what it's doing is it's doing active cell measures, active or inactive cells is what it says for carrier aggregation. Basically, it's trying to merge onto band 4 over here. Not here where I was, over here. Because if I try to dial it in on band 4, this would be the best line of sight right here. But band 13's strongest line of sight is there, getting me negative 89, negative 90, right? How does that work? Well, don't fucking ask me. All I can tell you is carrier aggregation works. For all you people I've talked to, either on the phone or on my comments and whatnot, you're absolutely right. But the MoFi's funny because sometimes it'll just jump on band 13 and not do the aggregation. But after 50 speed tests, it stayed. Um, even with some of this wind going on, um, it stayed on the band, okay? I'm gonna show you guys a snapshot of what the hell this is exactly called. It's a max, max most calm uh, Verizon type antenna. Um, it is 18 decibels versus 15 decibels. I think they're by the same company, to be honest. I'm not really sure. 
Um, came from Rochester, Niagara Falls, New York, somewhere in there. That's where I was born, by the way. Um, so shout out for hooking me up, New York. Uh, so yes, this is the fucking way of the future for me. Because now, if you would like to know, I was getting negative 30. I mean, I'm sorry, I was getting about 30 megabits down and about five up, four to five up. So I'd fluctuate between 30 and if I'm lucky to get 40. Um, you know, and I was happy with that. That was good. Uh, still had some interruption. Um, not a lot, but like I said, the parabolic grid really helps cut out a lot of your noise and cutouts versus your standard Yagis. But what I will tell you guys is this. I'm going to flip the camera. What I want to tell you guys is this. Carrier aggregation. It can use the strong decibel band that has the best strength, which out here is band 13, but the, the quality on band 13 is garbage. We're talking like the best I saw is like negative 10.6. Right now it's sitting about negative 12. It'll even bounce all the way up to negative 13. Is that gonna cut my internet out? I don't know um, because my signal strength is so high. The signal quality is kind of low. So when I say signal strength is high, I mean it's, signal strength is good. The signal quality is shit. We're going to test this theory for a while because right now, guys, I'm getting a solid 50 up. 50. The most I saw was 58, 59. Crazy, right? Fucking crazy. Um, just went from like a 30 to a fucking 50. <laughs> was it the antenna? Who knows? Because I swear to God, man, I was tinkering with that fucking log periodic in that direction and I wasn't getting that. Um, which kind of goes back to what I was doing for the neighbor. Okay, what we did uh, for the neighbor is I was on band 13 and I think he was scraping up band four and he was getting 20 to 21 down. Um, but then it went away, just fucking gone. And it was just sticking on band 13 and getting him one megabit down. So... Once again, though, his, his best decibels were probably like negative 108, negative 110 uh, on band 13 versus I'm over here fucking negative 90. Okay, look. My neighbor lives literally down there, like maybe a couple hundred yards. And you know what's real fucked up, though? I am in a flood zone. He is not. I have to pay flood insurance. He don't. My house is higher on stilts, you don't. That's some bullshit, right? Okay. Uh, anyway. Guys, look at that. That's fucking money. Um, you just got to play with it. I spent about an hour, hour and a half. I told my wife, it should be quick. I'm just swapping out antennas. And she's like, yeah, right. She was right. But hey, guess what? Um, solid. I'm going to show you the tracker of all my speed tests. Uh, you're going to see 50s throughout. Um... And then I'm going to show you a snapshot of what I had on the booster for some odd fucking reason. This uh, log periodic decided to get me 50 plus on my booster, which I've never fucking thought was possible. Uh, I don't know what it is. Did they put a new cell tower up? Did they put it new, new, new panels on the tower up? Uh, are we bouncing on vegetation? There's so many variables as to why the signal is better. But guys, I'm not going to knock it. Shit, I got about a few more months to hold this down. So when somebody moves in my house, they have stable internet. Because um, they sure as fuck are not going to touch my antennas. It's already nice enough of me to leave them for them. Okay? So, that's all I got, guys. Happy Saturday. Stay inside, but don't stay inside. You know what I'm saying? Go outside. Do some physical activities. If you're eating like shit... Do some physical activities. It'll offset you feeling like shit for doing it. I don't care if you just take the damn dog for a two-mile walk. Just get out there. Get some, some melatonin. Get some sun on your skin. You can tell I sure as fuck need it. And I get out all the time. Um, but that's just the ginger in me. So um, go out. You know, take the wife. Drive around. Just like, you know, you go around looking at Christmas lights and shit. Just go around and uh, see the sights. See who you can tell on and call the cops that is not keeping their social distancing. You know? No, don't do that shit. Come on. Um, 
So I don't know how much more video I can give you guys. I got some people reaching out. Love my shit. I am, I am not really a subject matter expert. Everything that I know thus far is just mainly trial and error, guys. Straight up. Uh, wanted internet. I'm a dad. I wanted my kids to have fucking internet, and they got to have it. Now, look at the times that we're in with this COVID crisis, right? Internet is more needed now than fucking ever. I mean, we can't wait all day for Starlink. We got to do something, right? And even Starlink, we don't, or the Amazon one that's starting up. There's a couple uh, satellite companies that are coming out um, trying to blast Wi-Fi for all of us rural people. You know, we don't know how good that's going to be. I mean, I can tell you right now, once again, I can game all day long, um, even at 20 or 10 megabits. Like, <laughs> I'm getting 50 now. Like, come on, people. Like, this is a way. I don't, I get a lot of, uh, here's another thing I want to add. Okay, all y'all motherfuckers posting comments, right? I love them. Please keep them coming. Makes me look good. Don't leave me some long fucking five page uh, story about your connector. Your little connector is going to take give you loss. And you need to make sure you have the LMR fucking 5500 blah, 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 blah. These are the LMR cables, guys. You see how thick they are? This is a old direct TV cable. I don't know if you can see it. It's skinny. Right here. Look at that opposed to those. I don't know. Can you see it? This is what you need. This thick shit. Okay. They're more expensive. Low loss. Um, back to what I was saying. You guys don't try to punk me and try to fucking make me sound stupid for my videos. I'm here to help people. I Barney style it. Barney style. What is Barney? I love you. You love, I'm trying to make it easy for you kids, okay? Like, get your fucking cables, right? It's not hard to read descriptions and find out what kind of cable it is. That pair with a MoFi or whatever the fuck you're using. Your stupid Nighthawk M1s, okay? Um, get a parabolic grid and get yourself either a log periodic antenna or get the uh, Max Most Calm yegi slash uh fucking sweet ass antenna that i'm gonna put in the link and i'm gonna share a picture of it for you guys i'll at least let it go for five seconds so you can find it okay um so just yeah i don't need the comments man the shit ones like i don't give a damn you're gonna have loss from fucking trees you're gonna have loss from wind you're gonna have loss from l looking at me i hope you lose your fucking hair okay um so just like Cause you're just you're just gonna fuel my fire. I don't even have high blood pressure. I got that that fighter blood, ginger shit, Italian. I got a, so much shit in me. Like you don't even know. And I'm and I'm a soldier, so I don't got time for it. Okay. So you want to be helpful? Barney style it for people. Okay. Like we got pe most of these people hit me up saying like, hey, <laughs> I uh. <laughs> I am not a tech person. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Here's what you do. Get your antennas, get the cables, get the MoFi, find a fucking SIM. Plug it in, see what happens. Move it up, down, left, right. Dial it in, look at the decibels, get them down to negative 100 or under that as close as possible. Like I'm negative 90, right? Okay? It's, it's not rocket science, guys. It is not. If you fucking graduated high school, you have a high school diploma, you can do this. Even a GED like myself. I got a bachelor's with a 4.0 GPA in leadership. Why? Because I'm leading all of you to get this goddamn wonderful internet. Okay? Um, so keep that in mind, guys, um, when you're commenting and stuff, because you're just going to make people just not want to do this. We're, we're, we're doing this to make people want to do this, right? Um, there was one more thing I wanted to add. If there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. Um, I'm always busy doing fitness and things like that. Um, whatever you need from me. Look at that. There they come looking for their HOA. I told you. Every time I'm on the roof. What the fuck? Maybe she's going to ask me what am I doing. Um, but anyway, guys. That's it. I'll show you my speed tests. I'll show you my antennas. I'll show you um, what's going on. And uh, damn, there was one more thing I wanted to say and I forgot. One more thing. Ten, oh, 10 megabits up. 10 megabits up. So 50 something down, 10 up. This video is going to upload quick as shit. So I could just keep drawing it out, making it long. Um, uh, 
yeah so yeah just just, just like uh you know leave me a comment tell me what you guys think um i mean i love this shit it's addicting like you you just you just want to have you got to have good internet you know um it's kind of been like a hobby minus my truck anybody know how to install a light bar on a truck so i can do this all day when it comes to fucking vehicles i'm done man hey you guys be safe have a good weekend i love y'all peace psych you thought i was done hey real quick i want to show you something let's quick check signal strength so you guys know i'm not blowing smoke there it is see so what the fuck is negative 89 right now the quality is even worse i had it down to like a negative 10.7 it oof, it's bouncing around pretty bad i don't know if the diversity strength is what contributes to the carrier aggregation Right now it says inactive cell band four. So you, you think inactive, um, you think, uh, okay, it's, it's not going to carry or aggregate. Well, let's find out. And I live in North Carolina, but I'm near the Virginia border, guys, in case you always see that. 40 ping, not too bad. Holy crap. My son's directly connected, guys. I told you I was getting like 50 to 55. <sighs> that's that's cray that's directly connected to his pc like literally that router is running from the mofi to the mofi and the, and the router line that yellow line ran all the way to my son's as you can see computer crap man i was wrong okay so the speeds are better so some of y'all like the whole direct connect lan in there it is holy shit all right, so one more time, the antennas. It's my son's computer, don't judge. So, oh, so my setup, I'm not using Bandlock. I'm actually using Advanced. I have it set to band four and 13. Obviously, it's going to jump on band 13 first because band 13 is the strongest band with those decibels you saw. I had like four bars. Got it? So... Use two, I get ahead of myself, guys. I'm not trying to confuse y'all. Go back to MoFi internal modem. Oh, shit. All right. Advanced band lock. MoFi said this. You can either use band lock or advanced. It's one or the other. If you use band lock, let's say you lock on band four, right? But you want to change bands. Every time you change bands, the MoFi is going to reboot. All right. But to force it to not reboot, you can just go to advanced band lock and select bands come over here and hit save, right? And it'll refresh up here. You'll see it like to a circle. It'll refresh once it refreshes. Boom, it's on that band or those bands, all right? That's it. So you just click two. Uh, I'm on Verizon. I don't mess with WCDMA, okay? This is coming from the guy. You know who you are. Um, I spoke to, you're on the Verizon prepaid plan. Uh, Dustin, Dylan, Sorry, man. Uh, a lot of D's of people I've been talking to. Thanks for your help, man. Um, it all started with the booster. Uh, my booster, my, I put the log periodic on the booster and I was getting 50 something down and it was saying band 66. I'm like, shit, maybe I needed the Sim 7 combo. But no, um, it's probably band jump. It's probably aggregating, um, which is what this is doing. It's getting the same exact speeds. Um, so. All right, for the antennas, I've had multiple multiples of you asking. I am on Amazon. Search V E R I Z O N L T E uh, antenna. All right, Verizon LTE antenna. Right. So look, there's the parabolic grid right there. So there's the first one you need as your primary antenna. You got to get that. It's two hundred forty nine bucks. You better make sure it's the fucking uh, LTE one, okay? Not the not the Wi-Fi one, like I said. Where is this Verizon antenna, guys? Where is it? It's it stands out. You'll see it. All right. It's Max Mostcom. Um. Oh my lord. Probably because I spelled Verizon wrong or some shit. I could have bought the last one, or maybe y'all are just jumping on it and sold them all out. Seriously? Okay, so it's not under the search.
let's just type Verizon. Verizon antenna, M-A-X, most, C-O-M, max most com. There it is, boom. Okay, yeah, there's lots of antennas to look at. There it is again. Okay, 95 bucks, 4.99 to ship. That's cheaper than the log periodic, guys. That's cheap, and it's better than log periodic in my eyes. Do not forget your damn connector. Do not forget your connector. Because this is a, it's not your typical uh, end female end here. Okay, you see that? Remember I, on the other video previous to this, the part one video, I showed you the connector. Make sure you type in, oh fuck, I'm gonna make sure it's definitely the one that it says it is. Uh, SMA mail. It has an SMA mail. That's why I told you guys it's not rocket science. So, you want SMA mail to N female adapter. The end female is the standard that will plug into your LMR cables. Uh, there's a pack of four, 10 bucks. There's one for right there, end female. You see the big end that plugs into your LMR cables. And then that little cable that's on the antenna will get converted with this to this, okay? It's not fucking rocket science, guys. Look at, they got cheap ones. Mine was like five bucks. Well, look, there's even a cable. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope this helps. Guys, have a wonderful weekend. Um, stay safe. And uh, Ben John, baby.